Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. So, has Paul been a good little YouTuber this year? What's that? He broke a Chinese-made shovel? He made a video that's a half-hour long PowerPoint? Ho, 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 ho. He sounds like he's been pretty naughty. Well, I have just the present for him. Ho, 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 ho. Well, when I left the army, I didn't think I'd be doing any more ruck marches, but here I am. Thanks, Santa. Hey guys, Paul here with Military History Gear Review. Today we're checking out the U.S. Army's Molly 2 Rucksack. This is uh, about $50 on eBay. It has 4,000 cubic inches of storage space in its standard configuration. All right, as you can see, it's in the ACU camouflage pattern. It's got one large main pouch that's protected by a drawstring and a waterproof cover. All right, it has a flap with a mat pouch. It has two sustainment pouches on either side. On the bottom, it has a sleeping bag pouch and bottom cover. frame. As you can see, it's not a metal frame, it's polymer. Right? This is a reinforced polymer frame that is meant to really fit around even body armor. It also has a large molded waist strap. And that's because on this ruck, most of the weight is carried not on your shoulders, but on your hips. So I'm going to be taking this thing out, putting a couple miles on it, and we're gonna see how it holds up. So stick around. Before the Vietnam War, the US didn't issue soldiers rucksacks as we think of them today. Instead, soldiers carried haversacks or knapsacks, which had the storage capacity of roughly a small backpack. From the First World War all the way to Korea, armies were composed of masses of riflemen who carried little beyond a rifle, grenade, food, water, a poncho, and a blanket. Specialized soldiers like artillerymen or communications experts were usually kept away from the front lines where mules or vehicles brought most of their supplies to a headquarters or a fixed base. In the guerrilla war of Vietnam, the U.S. found that soldiers in platoons or squads of about 15 to 30 men needed to be able to operate for long periods of time and perform many of the functions previously reserved for specialized soldiers. For example, an infantry platoon would need to carry food and water for up to 15 days, their weapons, ammunition, grenades and grenade launchers, machine guns, radios, medical kits, spare batteries, flares, smoke grenades, flashlights, and more. Combat loadouts quickly exceeded 100 pounds. The Army realized that its existing haversack was poorly suited to this new type of guerrilla war. The U.S. instead cap took the captured canvas rucksacks used by the Viet Cong insurgents and reverse engineered them into what it called the modern load carrying equipment and the M1967 lightweight rucksack. While this rucksack proved more capable than its predecessor, soldiers still found themselves strapping gear to every spare inch of the canvas. In 1972, the Army developed the Advanced Lightweight Individual Combat Equipment, or ALICE. But the U.S. growing use of technology in the late Cold War meant that even the ALICE pack was too small for use by many of the riflemen of the day. In 1997, the Army's Natick Labs introduced the first innovation in combat equipment in nearly two decades. The Molly Ruck was not only larger and lighter than the ALICE pack, but it used the innovative PALS webbing which let soldiers add pouches to the ruck, enabling them to tailor 
their loadout to the mission. The ergonomic frame allowed the soldiers to wear it over top their body armor, and it distributed the weight in a more stable and accessible way. While the Mali Gen 1s had issues with the durability of the frame, the reinforced polymer of the Gen 2s put them on par with the Alice Pack in terms of durability. And so while the Alice Pack remains popular among a certain demographic of old school aficionados, the Mali 2 is an improvement in almost every way, at least for anyone carrying serious amounts of gear. Well, Santa Claus was wrong. This was an awesome backpack, and I had a blast hiking with it this afternoon. It had about 35 pounds of gear in it, so that's pretty standard for about 48 hour, a 48 hour camping trip. It was extremely comfortable. Uh, having the weight on my waist instead of on my back made a huge difference to it. Uh, the space, you can see this has, again, two days worth of camping gear in it, and it looks like it's half full. Right? These side pockets have an incredible amount of space in them and are easy to access. The molded plastic frame does fit a little funky because it's meant to be worn with body armor, but it still is totally fine for a regular civilian hiker, backpacker, day camper. And knowing this thing is rated up to 200 pounds, I'm confident that I could put a lot more gear in it if I had to and be able to haul it. So overall, for 50 bucks, on a military surplus store or a site like eBay, you cannot go wrong. Right? 50 bucks is cheaper than even the cheapest Amazon Basics hiking backpack, and this is so much better quality. The manufacturing is gonna be so much more reliable. And the fact is, at 50 bucks, if something breaks on it, you know, if one of these clips or clasps break, you can just buy a replacement part for nothing. So overall, again, I can't speak uh, well enough about this um, you know you see sometimes people really love those old Alice packs they are almost twice as expensive but I don't think that you're getting twice the value um, and if you don't like this configuration you can always use the molly webbing to add even more space or a different pocket configuration to make it more in line with uh, whatever it is that you want to be doing so all in all gotta say this is a great great purchase. I'm Paul from Military History Gear Review. That's all I have for you for today. We'll see you next time.